this election has seen incredible engagement across platforms, right? YouTube in particular, especially when it comes to the debates, what have you learned about how people are consuming this election, mm -hmm. highlights, and the debates on your platform? Yeah. Well, so we've seen that the users have really wanted to learn more about the candidates and the issues. Since the primary started, we have measured over 110 million hours of watch time of users looking at candidates and understanding the issues, which is very significant. So that this is a way that they can deeper understand the issues and figure out how to who they want to vote for. We live streamed recently the debates. And with the first debate, we saw nearly 2 million subscribers, yes. concurrent viewers at, this, at the live debate. And that made it for us our largest political live streaming event ever. And I think it just showed that people really wanted to see it. Um, sometimes people were like at a soccer game or on the train and it gave them an opportunity to be able to see that or they had cut their cord, they were no longer getting cable and this was an opportunity for them to see it that way. What has surprised you about how users have consumed this election cycle and, and, and the debates? What we've learned is just that uh, users really want to understand more of the details. They can do that. And one of the advantages actually of YouTube and, and the short clips is, is that there'll be parts that will be really interesting to users and they can go right to that part. They can see just the clip of a really important moment where something was said. You've come out uh, along with a number of other CEOs in Silicon Valley and endorsed Hillary Clinton. What was your thinking in making a public endorsement? Well, I think first of all, I just want to point out that YouTube is a is a neutral platform, right? And and Google also is a um, is a company where we want to provide opportunity for everybody to right. express their point of view, and that's actually a core value of YouTube is the freedom of expression. And so um, as, a, as a business leader, I want to make sure that our platform can be used for all points of views. But then there's me personally separate from the company um, where I did endorse Hillary and that was really just a result of feeling that she has so much experience, I like her leadership, and feeling that she would be a great president. You know, I think this has been a really unusual election in many ways, um, pretty much every way it's been unusual. I wanted to give my support to her, but that came from me personally, sure. not from the platform. Did you wrestle with that at all as a business leader, thinking about should I make a public endorsement or not? Yeah, I mean, I did think about it because I didn't want it to be misconstrued. Um, and uh, as a platform, we work really, really hard to be nonpartisan, to express all points of views. But I also felt, as a business leader, that was, that was my personal point of view, um, and that's why I did share it.